Good morning. Welcome to the FRAS Focus Regional Anesthesia Series. I am Gopal Krishan Jalwal. Today we will see how to perform the supraclavicular brachial flexus block. Good morning. Today I am going to demonstrate supraclavicular brachial flexus block. You know the supraclavicular brachial flexus block is most commonly performed block or we can say that uh, it is the first block that is performed by any resident doctor okay and uh, it is also called spinal anesthesia of the upper lip because this block effect is so dense that you can uh, perform the any upper limb surgery in uh, only supraclavicular block without any supplement okay and as per indication, it is indicated uh, for the analgesia or anesthesia of upper extremity uh, from humerus to finger. Okay, and uh, you know, okay, usually for the upper arm or shoulder surgery, we choose the intersclenic brachial flexus block to perform the supraclavicular brachial flexus block. Patient should be placed in supine position and uh, neck should be rotated on contralateral side of the block okay and uh, arm should be adapted okay then uh, you have to place the USC linear probe in mid clavicular fossa at the uh, just above the clavicle and then you can visualize the a pulsating structure that is subclavian artery and just posterolateral to subclavian artery you will see bunch of grape that is the brachial flexus so uh, to perform the block uh, you have to deposit the local anesthetic uh, first at the deeper level of the brachial flexus that is uh, corner between the subclavian artery and the first strip and then uh, at the superficial uh, brachial flexus so total amount we have to deposit in brachial flexus is around 15 to 20 ml let's see 